Let's take a look at what's new in SAP Business One 10.0 Feature Package 2208. SAP Business One now supports identity and authentication management. An identity provider is a trusted provider that lets you use single sign-on to access other websites. Single sign-on enhances usability by reducing password fatigue because you no longer need to remember an excessive number of passwords. It also provides better security by decreasing the potential attack surface. You can configure identity providers and user bindings from the SAP Business One System Landscape Directory Control Center. When binding users in the SLD Control Center, you can perform central user management actions, such as resetting user passwords for SAP Business One Authentication Server users and activating or deactivating external IDP user accounts, which affect all bound users across companies in SAP Business One. The SAP Product Footprint Management Solution for Clean Operations is now integrated with SAP Business One. This cloud-native solution helps small and mid-sized companies to analyze the carbon footprint of each of their products with minimal effort. The solution allows you to evaluate and optimize the bottom-up carbon footprint on product level, gaining actionable insights that enable you to make the right business decisions. The basis for the calculation of emission data is the master data and transactional data from SAP Business One. The exchange of data between SAP Business One and the solution is carried out by the integration framework for SAP Business One. After performing the initial steps in SAP Business One, you can access the features of SAP Product Footprint Management for Clean Operations, including the managing of your purchased product footprints, energy flow modeling, and emission calculation and analysis. In Web Client for SAP Business One, a new group, Production, is now available. You can use the new Bills of Materials apps to create, process, review, and analyze Bills of Materials, as well as view Bill of Materials relationship maps in various visualizations. The new Receipts from Production and Issues for Production apps enable you to create, process, review, and analyze Receipts from Production and Issues for Production. The app Production Orders allows you to view, filter, and analyze existing production orders. In the Inventory Transactions group, new Inventory Counting Transactions apps enable you to review and close single or multiple inventory counting transactions, as well as to create and perform new inventory counting transactions by single or multiple counters. In the Settings dialog, under Appearance, the Horizon option is now available on the Theme tab. The Horizon theme in Web Client adopts the color scheme and tile style of the Horizon visual theme for SAP Fiori. You can now access exact, up-to-date sales tax and use tax information from Avalara through tax service in the United States localization. Electronic document service is required for integration with and connection to the tax service provider Avalara. You can use the new options available on the Tax Service tab in Document Settings to manage tax service and choose a provider. Settings for tax service that were previously available in Company Details are now available in Document Settings. You can use the new tax service, Avalara Rates by Address, in marketing documents in the same way as SAP Localization Hub Tax Service. Thanks a lot for watching. Now it's time to try out these features for yourself.